<laughs> what is going on everybody? Depraved Slash here and we are back with another music reaction. I'm Depraved. I'm Hellcat. And together we are... Hello Depraved. Yes we are. And we are also extremely excited for this. Yep. Um, so both of these gentlemen we have put in our tier list. We have at this point? At this point. Knox Hill was just recently put this past week this past week and then dilemma was one of the first couple rounds if not i think the second i think it was in yeah. the second episode um medical y'all got a lot of respect for these two guys uh man did we react to the grizzly one or did we just listen i think we reacted to it Pause. when grizzly did it with the noctil i maybe i think we did i can't remember we either li i mean we both listened to it but I'm, I'm pretty, pretty sure, sure we, sure we reacted yeah. to it. Um, I think the only one we did miss was the one with Gatsby. Right. Um, I didn't even know that one came out, honestly, until the Grizzly one came out. Right. Sad face. We like Gatsby. So, we do. Yeah. Um, but no, so this is Knoxville versus Dilemma. They're calling it the script work battle session. Okay. The song is called Triggered. Here's what I do know. Knox Hill does take a shot at We Scheme in it. Okay. All right. He does not call him out by name. Hmm. Hmm. It is the only part of the song I've heard because We Scheme had that small section at the beginning but of his response. Got it. And I did watch We Scheme's response. Now, also, I do also have a lot of respect for We Scheme. Although I had no clue these two have had this thing going on for a while, apparently. Me neither. This yeah, is news I... to me. Like, brand new. Okay, all right. Because I didn't see that clip for yeah, anyone who cared. Oh, you mean the... Yeah, that you were just talking about. I haven't seen that, but... But I keep seeing some people being like, the feud lives! And so apparently this has been a back and forth for a while. All right, okay. Uh, so regardless, I am super excited for this. Now, with that being said, Dilemma is on this, and we also have a lot of love for Marcus. We do, yeah. Um... Again, for those of you that don't know, in terms of reactors, Marcus and Lim, script work, are who I look up to the most in the reaction thing. I know a lot of people would say Shaq first, and don't get me wrong, I got a lot of love for Shaq too. I've actually got a uh, Barology t-shirt, actually I think it's in dirty clothes. But it might be up there. I, I don't remember. But um, script work is who put you on the path that. But you're script on. work is the ones I I kind of I guess modeled myself most after. Right. I've always loved the reactions. I've loved the breakdowns. Do not get me wrong. Do not get me wrong. I enjoy the entertainment side of things from some other reactors, but I definitely prefer the more informative. In terms of what we watch breakdowns. for react, yeah, exactly, yeah. Um, the reactors that we pick for reactions. Yes. <clears throat> Um, also, for those of you that don't know, script work is still the only dilemma. Is the only artist to actually shout me out vocally in a song. And we do stress vocally. Vocally. Because blindsight. We made blindsight's video. Just right. Not. Just not. Yeah. Lyrically. <laughs> Sad face. No, it's cool. It's I, it I, is what it I is. do remember freaking the fuck out though when dilemma. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay. I I, I might have fangirled. <clears throat> Just... All right. So with that being said, um, again, this is Knoxville versus Dilemma script work battle sessions triggered. Please know we are reacting to this as if you have already seen it, even though we haven't. If you have not seen the video, click the link in the description below. Go watch the video. Like, sub, come back. Because we are going to be pausing this and breaking this down. Probably quite a bit more than what you would like. Um, it is a breakdown channel. We are a breakdown channel. We do like not just work. bob our head and go with the right. flow and move on. That's that's not our thing. At all. At all. <laughs> oh, okay. Are you ready? Um, sort of. Yeah. I was looking at my coffee. If this turns like, into a 30 minute one. reaction, we apologize. Not really. Not really. Yeah. It happens sometimes. Especially if they come bar heavy, which I expect that they did. I expect 100% for Dilemma 2. Knox has that ability as well. 
I think he probably stepped his, like, he has the ability, so stepped his game up isn't the right terminology, but, like, he tried to match Dilemma here. Yeah. Um, but all right, with that being said, we're going to slash up and break it down. Let's get it, baby. <laughs> There's that outside mic. <laughs> He's praying. Lord help me. Got a lot of things that are left unsaid, so I write my life and I write it in lead every page. Coming in with the directions and the homophones. Yeah. I will say, I will say the one thing I do dislike. Uh, again, again yeah. and I, 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 I stress this with anyone that does this. Samad gets it a lot. I'm not a fan of the bars being pointed out. Right. Because. Part of our fun is in breaking them down. Uh, yes. Catching them. I'm not saying we catch board. everything. So I, and I, I'm not, I don't ever say artists should not do this just right. for us. Because, like, there are a lot of people that We're not would telling not you what it. to do. We're, we're just saying that for, for us, us personally, it's it's one of those things that kind of takes away from some of the fun. Right. <clears throat> Got a lot of things that are left unsaid, so I write my life and I write it in lead. Every pain in the bullet that I put to my head, you can say that I'm triggered every time that I bled. I like that because he's the, the. He writes his lead. He writes it in lead and, and then. And then he turns bullets. around, every pain in the bullet, lead bullets. Yeah. Um, that I put in my head. Again, pain being in the head. Right. And he's writing it in lead. And just saying that he's triggered. Yep. Because he's putting it there. It's... Every time okay. that he's bled. And again, right. the, blood, the blood is the lyrics that he's writing. He's putting... Right. Yeah. I write my life and I write it in lead Every pain in the bullet that I put to my head You can say that I'm triggered every time that I bled This is number two like a nine millimeter Never did math but I line it in sequence Powder with the fire and <laughs> number two pencil number nine two pencil. millimeter so again there's the mathematics and he had, had the the line bar where it's referencing a line graph yep so scheming on the math but keeping that same the lead the bullet number two pencil I like Every it. Every time that I bled. This is number two, like a nine millimeter. Never did math, but I lined it in sequence. Powder with the fire in pen. I heated against all odds. I had to get even. Mm. Mm. The fire in pen. Right. And powder. Yep. Gun all powder. right. All right. He's coming with the bars. He He's did. coming with the bars. We can appreciate that. Very much so. And I like that he kept to the same scheme, but had like little sub schemes. The right. entire verse there like I, I really like that it wasn't just four bars or six you know against all odds I had yep. to get even odds yep. okay I missed again that one. math scheming like I said he he kept it real tight but had little sub genres that like all meshed together right it, it, very good I put a line of this sequence, powder with the fire in pen, I heat it against all odds. I had to get even. Like six o'clock, line them up now. Like six o'clock. Come on, bruh. <laughs> oh. Dilemma's gonna make me throw my fucking laptop. Marcus. Yeah, well. I love you. But I hate you at the same time. <laughs> His brain hates you is what it is. Oh, <laughs> he gets so excited. His headphones hate you. Or they hate me. They hate you. <laughs> you get hype in those headphones. They're, they're just never going to make it. I had to get even. Hold on. Lies, I had to get even. Locked and loaded. I shoot yeah. my shot. Referencing <clears throat> triggers. Right. The, the pen, pen a Glock. Glock. Words. Words like six o'clock. I like I get the pen a Glock. Right. He fires with his pen. Right. It's his weapon of choice. Exactly. I don't understand the words like six o'clock though. Mm. I I don't know if that's a reference. I I other than like both hands. Both hands are... At 6.30. Let's see. 6 o'clock. Or no, the 6 o'clock plays into the next bar, if I remember correctly. Hold on. Okay. Line them up, up because 
Six straight o'clock up and down. Straight up that, and down. I was trying to figure out that, yeah, okay. And he says, now watch, now watch hands. Because the hands are the clock. But... Get him clocked. Right. Yep. All right. Punch him, motherfucker. <laughs> High caliber. Got now, me. I know I know we're looking ahead, but I'm doing this on purpose. High caliber, referring to guns again. Right. Got me building, building stock. stock. Building stock in terms of... Stockpiling. Stockpiling, but building stock. A stock is a part of a gun. A gun. Gun stock. Yep. Watch hands, yellow card. High caliber got me building stock. Killing the market when I mark here to drop standing. And, and the, stock, the market, stock market, which, is another... which was the other thing I was thinking of. Right. When I mark it, we'll drop. And mark it. Stock market. Drop. Extended range. Keep me in touch with the ops. Dude. Extended range being in reference to like being able to shoot from further. Right. Keep me in touch with the ops. As in touch again, referring to hands, which mm -hmm. he was going on earlier. And ops, as in spec ops. Yeah, spec or ops or whatever, whatever kind of ops. you're on, yeah. Opposition. <sighs> <laughs> Plugged in, fuck a gun. Man, I'm bringing the shop. Because he works in the booth. Right. He's bringing his words. Get flanked. Get flanked when it's beef. Like a beef flank. I surround the spot. I surround the spot. I might throw my headphones this time. Although my headphones aren't nearly She's as dramatic. I, yeah, exactly. And I gotta make sure that I take them out nicely first. Or they'll just like rip out of my ear. Which is painful. Uh, it's really painful. I've done it. Not fun. Stand your range, keep me in touch with the eyes Plugged in, fuck a gun, man, I'm bringing the shop Get flanked when it's beef, fuss around the spot Mind agent, forms a weapon Boy, stay in my head, agent 47 Mm. <laughs> Mind aging forms a weapon. So as it gets older, it, he's forming a weapon he's, out of his mind, out of his lyrics, words, bars stay in his head. Agent 47. You know who Agent 47 is? I don't. Agent 47 is a reference to Hitman. Oh, okay. All right. And I he's know got Hitman. the barcode on the back just, of his head. When, it, neck, when but, it said Agent 47, I was like, man, that is like, I can't put my finger on it but i do actually i'm not a gamer guys but i have actually watched hitman being played it made me kind of sick but i still enjoyed it and i've watched the movies which were terrible but i still enjoyed them even as terrible as they were but i did like that because the bar stay in his bar head code. but the bars in his head like 47 because yep. agent 47 has them tattooed on yep bars bars this on is this is bars. why dilemma is as high as he is on our list yes when the eyes plugged in, fuck a gun, man, I'm bringing the shop. Get flanked when it's beef, fuss around the spot. Mind agent falls away. Surrounding the spot makes a target, which isn't that one of the symbols of Hitman? No. There's the spec op. I think the surround the spot is more in reference to the beef. It comes from cows. Cows are spotted. <laughs> you never know with him, though. That could be a triple. You never know. Jeez. Uh, All right. <laughs> but you're thinking of a reticle. Like okay. a gun reticle? Yeah. That has the circle. The target. And then with the cross yeah. in between. Yeah. Weapon, bar stay in my head, age of 47. Strap with knowledge, can you afford the weapon? Time to clean up the scene like Florida Evans. That's going to be one I miss. I don't know who Florida Evans is. I don't know Florida Evans, but strap with knowledge. Again, Again strap being a gun strap. Yeah, but he's but using the knowledge, knowledge in his head. Can, as his ammunition can you afford the weapon going back to the stocks and things like that right can you afford the weapon time to clean up the scene like florida evans again i don't know who florida evans is that is a bar i have completely missed yeah unfortunately i, I don't know florida i have missed <laughs> whoever just said thank you <laughs> we appreciate it <laughs> um but yeah i don't know who florida evans is i have i i, I live in shame i must now We'll look it up after Sudoku. Please don't. Although it's, that would be kind of hard because Sudoku is the that's... math game. <laughs> yeah. It's seppuku is the actual term. Yeah. Sudoku yeah. is a very fun math game. It's the only math game I enjoy. 
I mean, we'll leave you to it. But, <laughs> you know. Soundtrack when I stand ready, tat tat. 2020 making everybody get back. Mmm, soundtrack. When I snap. When I snap, red a tat tat. Tracking the sound of the gunshots. Right, but also he produces soundtracks when he snaps. Right. 2020, which is a vision. 2020 <laughs> right, vision. Right, but making it get but back 2020 to is social the year. It's also the year 2020. Mm hmm. And he's saying 2020 is making everybody get, get back, back because of COVID yeah. in 2020. Mm -hmm. Doubles. Right. That is a pure double. Yes. Yes. Clean up the scene like four to F. Soundtrack when I snap ready, tat tat. 2020 making everybody get back. Kick it off in a room, kiss some kickback. Eagle out on the heart, yeah, I'm like a big back. <laughs> oh, that was bar. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Kick it off is now going into football references. Yeah, I figured because of the Michael Vick. And I'm going to catch some kickback. Now, eagle eye on the hawk, yeah, Michael Vick back. Michael Vick played for the Falcons. Which is the type of hawk. And then eventually went and played for the Eagles. Uh-huh. All right. Lots of raptors up in there. Right. And then, of <laughs> course, eagle eye being, it's a type of, like, vision. You're able to see so far right. away and spot things very quickly. He's saying he's got his eye on the hawk. Right. Twenty twenty, making everybody get back. Kick it off in a room, kiss some kickback. Eagle eye on the hawk, yeah, I'm like a big back. Click click that, yeah, for the kickback. Big sack rap, flip tracks like a switchback. <laughs> I like that. Now he, I hate you, Knox. I like it. that he picked up yes. right back where Dilemma left off. Yes. Please note, guys, when I tell you guys I hate, I don't really hate you. Nah. He hates that. We're thinking that he loves it, too. We're sadomasochistic that way. So, click, clack, here for the kickback. Okay, that's a double because he's here for the kickback because it's coming back from Dilemma right. back to him. But kickback is also a term when firing a gun. You get kickback right. from it. Yep, So many a person has almost taken an eye out. Or dislocated shoulders, depending yes. on the size of yes. gun. Bruises. bruises. Um, Lots of bruises. Big stack, wrap, flip tracks like a switchback. These All right. motherfuckers. <laughs> These guys. Eagle eye on the hawk, yeah, I'm like a big back. Click, clack that, yeah, for the kickback. Big sack rap, flip tracks like a switchback. We big clap, you boom bap, you loons mass, you quack, kick clap, we look that. <laughs> you boom bap. <laughs> we big clack. Talking about big guns. Right. You boom bap. Which is a style of Which rap beat. Which is actually a style of rap beat. Right. Um... You loons mad, you quack. Loons Loons are a type of, are a duck, type of or mal bird. Mal yeah, it's a mallard type. Yeah. But so he says you quack, get clapped because now they're duck hunting. <sighs> There's a Nintendo reference here. Oh no. We loop that. If there's a Nintendo reference in the next bar, <laughs> I'm walking out. <laughs> Please don't. Don't leave me. They do a lot of sports references. I need you. Big sack rap, flip tracks like a switchback. We big clap, you boom bap, you loons match, you quack, get clap. We loop that Drake going back to back. Hitting singles like a batch of pad, let's take it back to rap. Drake going back to back. Um, Back to back albums have gone number one. Back to back singles have gone number one. Hitting singles. Um, But yeah, hitting singles like a bachelor pad because singles, single men. Yep. Their homes are known bachelor as bachelor pads. pads. Um, let's take it back to rap. Let's take it back to rap. We rapping, rap rapping, <laughs> rap rapping. Balloons, match you quack, get clap. We look that Drake going back to back, hitting singles like a bachelor pad. Let's take it back to rap, but you don't need to rap to go see the back. Also, look that Drake going back to back, hitting singles. Hitting singles is a baseball term. Right. Okay. Because when you hit a ball into yep. a certain spot in the field, it's considered hitting a single. Because you're right. only going to get to first base and right. progress whoever else is around. Right. It's like a bachelor pad. Let's take it back to rapid June. Bachelor pad. Bat. Like a bat. Bachelor pad. Got it. And yeah, the homophone between, home. let's take it back to rap, but you don't need the rap to go see the facts. Bats, you quack, get clap. We look that Drake going back to back. Hitting singles like a bachelor pad. Let's take it back to rap, but you don't need to rap. To go see the facts that I'm gifted. How 
set a box up in all of your wish list. No. Stop it. Like a present. Stop it. <laughs> but you don't need the rep to go see the facts. Yeah. It's saying... I'm gifted outside the box. I've been all over your wish list. Like the Amazon wish list or other services provide wish lists that you can gift people things. Well, and you can uh, make your wish list public so that people can gift you stuff. Thing. Yeah. Right. It's, uh, and it's outside the box when it's on your wish list. Ain't been wrapped yet. So I recorded this last tonight, folks, because we're gonna be tired when we're done. Yeah. Yeah. So are you. <laughs> Had to take it back to rap, but you don't need to rap to go see the facts that I'm gifted. Outside of box, I've been all over your wish list. Listed. If I ain't in your top five, break it up, cause I'm naughty by nature. <laughs> list it. Again, if I ain't in your list. top five, break it up because it's top five I list. I need my coffee. He says break Sorry, it up because I'm naughty by nature. Naughty by nature being, being a rap group. Right. Are they in your top five? Just asking. You know. <laughs> Gifted. Outside a box, I've been all over your wish list. Listed. If I ain't in your top five, break it up because I'm naughty by nature. Naughty that you missed it. Treacherous intentions. Kind of like a father not there for Christmas. Oh. Mm. oh. Ow. That was just dirty. Naughty that, you... naughty that you missed it. Right. Mm. Tretch. Eris intentions. intentions. Tretch is one of the guys in Naughty by Nature. In not, yeah. Um, kind of like a father who's not there for Christmas. Kind of like a father. Because Naughty that you missed it. You're going on Santa's Naughty list. You mm -hmm. get coal. coal. That's it. Yeah. The father not there for Christmas bar is just... That's really what weird. I call dirty, y'all. Yeah. No, no, he went there. no, he your absence leaves the presents there. like presents, like under Time the tree out. presents. E Stop it, Jesus. <laughs> My absence leaves a presence. <laughs> ha. Uh, Let me speak my blessings about to leave confessions because when you go into a confessional. Yeah, yeah, you, yeah, yeah, stop. Naughty that you missed it, treacherous intentions, kind of like a father not there for Christmas. My absence leaves a presence. Let me speak my blessings about to leave confession. Every time that I step in this booth, I cross the Catholics, resurrect the masses. I'm converting Jews. <laughs> you step in a booth. My blessings about to leave confession. Every time, the for Every time I step in this booth, which is a Catholic thing. Which we just said. Right. And the mass is the Catholic thing, especially in Christmas time. The Christmas mass is one of the biggest says, events of the year. I cross Catholics, which Catholics do the cross thing. Right. Which is what he did at the very beginning when he stepped up to the mic. Yes. But also... He says, resurrect the masses, because resurre the resurrection of Christ is a part of... The mass, and therefore references back to the cross, because Christ was crucified, and then... Was Rose. resurrected three days later, or resurrected himself. However, you look at that. Uh. It's kind of like a father not there for Christmas. My absence leaves a presence. Let me speak my blessings. About to leave confession. Every time that I step in this booth, I cross the Catholics, resurrect the masses. I'm converting Jews. Revelation in my verse got a hearse for you. I'm converting Jews. Oh. Because the Jews are Old Testament. Yes. You know, not not believers in Christ being the Son of God. Revelations with my verse saying his verse is the end of time, end of times. Right, Re Revelation being the apocalyptic. But at the same the time, Bible. that's a double having revelations with his verse. Yes, when you have a revelation, it's an epiphany. It's an epiphany. Got a hearse for you, like got a, got a verse for you, but it's you. Yeah, I got a coffin with your name on it. Yep. I'm gonna body this. Jesus. I'm gonna step in this booth, I cross the Catholics, resurrect the masses, I'm converting Jews. Revelation in my verse, got a hearse for you. Two words for you when I be OD, catch a body, keep riding like EMTs. <laughs> Revelation in my verse, got a hearse for you. Two words for you. Get worse for you when I be OD. Catch a body and keep riding like EMTs. B O D bod. spells out bod. Yeah, I caught that. I did. He thought he was going to slide then, down one past And then he said, us. catch a body. And well, the, yeah, and, and he keep said, catch riding. a body and keep riding like EMTs, because EMTs pick up bodies to take to the hospital. Yes. Yes. You ain't slick, Marcus. 
Uh, now you sure are, because like I'm sure we missed. We some missed. Shit. Yeah. <laughs> across the Catholics, resurrect the masses. I'm converting Jews. Revelation in my verse got a hearse for you. You hearse for you when I B O D. Catch a body, keep riding like EMTs. Reload the clip quick like BT. I'm loving the three letter spelling scheme. Is also do on. Too. But then he says, reload the quip. Clip. Quip. Yeah, I know. We're, yeah, reload the clip. Reload quick. the clip. Quick, like BET, which is Black Entertainment Television, yep. the channel. I used to watch BET. that. But reload the clip, which is also in reference to reloading a music video. So reload the clip. Right. Or reloading a gun. Or reloading yep. a gun. Quick, like BET, which is also in reference to like bet. Yep. Bet. Bet I won't pop a motherfucker. <laughs> Bet I won't body you. <laughs> Got a hearse for you. Yo, words for you when I be OD. Catch your body, keep riding like EMTs. Reload the clip quick like BT. Yeah, straight fire like a candle waste and keep rounds in store like ammunition. Uh... <laughs> yeah, straight fire like a candle wasting. So if you keep a candle lit, it's, it's always going to just... be on fire, which is making the candle dwindle yeah. down. Waste, yeah keep rounds in store like ammunition so rounds in store being i keep bars and like he's talking about the bars that he has i keep rounds in right. store Still but at the same time gun bar. it's a yeah. gun bar like ammunition ammunition is the gun store on grand theft auto the video game series right but it's also but like ammunition, ammunition which is what rounds are yep yep reload the clip quick like bt yeah straight fire like a candle and it's waste. straight it's fire store like ammunition it's straight fire. Right. When you use spit bullets, yeah. They yep. should put books on your name, these salutations. My clap bag needs congratulations. <laughs> put bucks on your name, these salutations. That's a double. Put bucks on your name. Talk about I got money on your head. Right. Salutations. These salutations are a form like of greeting. Farewell. Yeah, mm -hmm. well, salutations are just uh, greetings. So, hi, bye. Right. Anything in between. But at the same time, put bucks <clears throat> on your name in reference to hunting season. Right. Being bucks. a buck. Yep. Buck hunting season. And he says, my clap back needs congratulations, which is also a double. Because when yeah, you're congratulating clap. somebody, you clap. So my, right. clap, my clap back, which but is also his response. my clap back game my is response that strong that it deserves. Yeah. Yeah. Um... Uh, Keep rounds in store like ammunition. Put bucks on your name, these salutations. My clap back needs congratulations. Try to storm in the hood. Get home really good. Try to storm in the hood. Talking about storming in. Yeah. Get harmed really good. But also, I think this is going to play into the next set of bars. I'm sure I could be wrong. Yeah, yeah. But a storm being. Yeah, like a, a weather. A weather event. A weather storm. Um, but yeah, not not real bright to go running into the hood and all bent. but try to storm in the hood can also be a double in terms of people wearing hoods and the storm in their mind could get them hurt hmm? all right clap back needs congratulations try to storm in the hood get home really good i like the flow like switch hoodie. we got arms in the hood i knew he was, i felt it was like yeah, okay. So you go out in a storm in a hoodie. It's not going to do much for you. Right. Uh, it's not a protection, like a short sleeve hoodie. We bear arms, so their arms are bare if it's a short sleeve Right. in the hood, but they're also carrying, so you're going to get hurt really good. <laughs> just saying. We're just we, saying. We're catching those. <laughs> get home really good like a short sleeve hoodie we bear arms in the hood don't get stretched out with the best out i don't beat eyes with the best out the arms in the hood don't get stretched out they're also not just in the hood but they're bearing arms because it is still a hoodie even though it's short sleeved <laughs> so yeah and he says, don't get stretched out with the best out. Stretched out being a term of... Don't get twisted. Don't get hurt. In your feels. Right. But also, hoodies right. can get stretched, get stretched out. out. He says, I don't beat odds with the best doubts. He beat the odds. Yeah. All right. Out with the best out, I don't beat eyes with the best out. Trying to be God with your chest out, help you meet God on the best. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to be God. Eyes with the best out, trying to be. 
try to be God with your chest out because you think you're, you're all that. You think yeah. you're going to put people out of there. You know, you're going to kill people. Help you meet God. He's like, I'm going to help you route. meet him. Quickest path, man. Quickest, Quickest path. path. You're going to get hurt really good. All right, Marcus. He's already said he's done got EMTs on call. Right? Yeah. Be God with your chest out. Help you meet God on the yes, block. Your actors ain't even reacting. You make the jokes. You don't see the action. This is where the shot at oh. Wee Scheme's going to come in. He says, y'all reactors ain't even reacting. And thank you for calling that out, Knox Hill. For so long, we have been talking about people that just like to nod their heads. And that's again, not a reaction. And you know, like, if people want to watch that, that's, that's fine. But then the reactors that are actually reacting get a lot of hate on our pages for you pause too much. Right. You know, just just let it flow, you know, and it's like, well, guys, you can listen to the song yourselves or you can watch other reactors. But there are some of us that actually subscribe to channels like I subscribed to Knox and Dilemma uh, almost a year ago because both of them did breakdowns. Mm -hmm. And that's what I want. I can listen to the song myself just fine. But if I want some of the, the stuff that I'm not getting, especially like sports bars or gamer bars i pointed out i'm neither so you know sometimes i need the references and they tend to know that he says you just make jokes but you don't see the action which is in reference to like yeah you can sit here and poke fun say right. what you want but you don't see what we go through when we're right. putting this together you don't see what it takes yep put your chest out help you meet god on the yes, your actors ain't even reacting you make the jokes you don't see the action in this low lane you don't see the passion you woes back but you don't see me gas <laughs> okay in the slow lane you don't see the passion or pass but you don't see the passing yeah because you're in the slow lane yeah people are passing you yeah he said you hose peck peck i don't know what he's saying there though you don't see, oh. P-E-C would be. You don't see me gassing, so you don't see me flooring it. But you also don't see me gassing someone. I else. don't know what P-E-C stands for. Right. Honestly. I need help with that acronym. Or OPEC, because I'm pretty sure it's O-P-E-C. I don't know. That is one we missed. No. Please explain then you make the jokes, you don't see the action in the slow lane, you don't see the passion, you woes back, but you don't see me gassing. Switch in the middle of you don't see the action in the slow lane, you don't see the passion, you woes back, but you don't see me gassing. Switch in the middle of my flows, you a little bit of troll with a little bit of hope. <laughs> switch in the middle of my flows, again referencing the switching lanes. Right, but also the switching of his right. flows in the beat. Right. Um, you a little bit of troll with a little bit of hole. Which I also think is supposed to be like hoe. Right. Um, this, Hoes have holes. Right. Which, again, this is referencing Wee Scheme, because Wee Scheme is a troll, and he right. knows that. Right. And, again, trolls are the people that go around and comment on other people's stuff. Make fun of them a bit. They also typically are known to live in holes. Under a bridge. Passion, you woes back, but you don't see me gassing. Switch in the middle of my flows, you a little bit of troll with a little bit of whole mass man with a gimmick. Where you think that I really wouldn't know? Crap, you make you shut up from the shit that I so. <laughs> shit. With a troll with a little bit of whole mass man. All right, mass man with a gimmick, referencing Wee Scheme, because okay. his gimmick now is wearing I... the mask. Okay. Um, wait, you'd think that I really wouldn't know? Crop you out, make you shudder from the shit that I sew. So. <laughs> Crop you out, as in cut you out. Picture wise. Picture wise. Yeah. So crop you, make you shudder. Shudder being the reference to the picture, because when you take a snapshot, it's a shutter shot. Right. But crop also plays into from the shirt, or from the shit that I sew. Right. Because it's you I sew, sew as in you sew a field, you sew but a crop. I sew is also um, something in your camera. It's right. part of the yeah, yeah. Good bars there. I'm I'm enjoying it. You woes back, but you don't see me gassing. Switch in the middle of my flows, you a little bit of troll with a little bit of whole mass man with a gimmick. Where you think that I really wouldn't know? Crap, you make you shut up from the shit that I so get exposed. Get exposed, get exposed. Get exposed. camera exposure. Right. Right. All right. Which goes back to the little bit of hole as well. Because, you know, your, your shutter 
size or everything and that's that's actually like the size of the uh aperture fixture so okay all right all right and then just real quick marcus is back he says we cancel culture culture vultures simple posers cancel culture being the culture we live in today where everyone jumps online to cancel people they did this cancel them right um but then he turns that and flips it into culture vultures which culture vultures are people that go in and imitate and appropriate appropriate other, other people's, people's cultures, cultures for for gain non yeah yeah for gain not that would for... be like me dressing up as an indian or Native American, I guess is the right. proper term. Either or. That'd be like me dressing up and as a Native mean, American and going out and doing rain guys. dances. Right, right. And just silly shit like that. But for non-personal beliefs, like right. for, for gain, for clout, for exposure, not necessarily because you found something in the shamanistic way of life that, that you subscribe to, right. you know. Oh, mass man with a gimmick where you think that I really wouldn't know crap you make you shut up from the shit that I so get exposed Exposed, we cancel culture, culture vultures, simple poses, simple toasters when they approach us, pull the car, we don't play with your <laughs> Sample toasters, which toasters there is a double Because mm -hmm. toasters being like the toasters that you put yep. food in, but toasters also being a gun, he's sam sampling guns Right Um, and he says when they approach us Pull they card, we don't play with jokers. Saying Joker we pull, we, type we, of... we pull that card from them. Yep. Um, it's same references in like pulling somebody's ghetto card or something. Yeah, pulling you're, somebody's... you're a simple poser, so it's right. pretty easy to discredit you when when you come around. We don't play with jokers, as in you're a joke, but also a joker is a they type of card. card. Yeah. Culture vultures, simple poses, simple toasters when they approach us. For the car, we don't play with jokers. Call a spade, a spade, ain't any hard, can't club with us. Gotta stay on deck just to make a cut, even when you a diamond in the rough. Uh, Fuck that. <laughs> okay, he just went through every playing card uh, suite. So, spade, heart, club, they're all on the deck. You cut a deck when you play it. Diamond is also a suite. So, there, there you go. I'm glad these motherfuckers are durable. <laughs> They're not going to be very long. Although, um, a spade a spade is a metaphor that's used quite a bit. Call it what it is, is basically. Uh, ain't in their heart, meaning it's not really their thing. They're simple posers. Can't club with us, can't hang with us. Gotta stay on deck. Gotta stay 100%. Gotta stay real. Just to make the cut, just, just to... Just to even hang with us. Yeah. Even when you diamond in the rough, and diamond in the rough is another metaphor, meaning there's a treasure buried underneath all of the rough surface. Did you already break down the cutting a deck? And... You got it, yes. Okay. You took off. I and did. And I... I was pissed. And wanted to make sure that this already extremely long video wasn't horrifically long because you it's got... already it. horrifically long. It is. It is. But I didn't need to pause because there were no sports or gaming references <laughs> in that. Ain't any heart can't club with us. <laughs> gotta stay on deck just to make the cut. Even when you were diamond in the rough. Made my own, got it out the mud. Didn't need a gimmick to get it out of bud. Made right. my own, got it out the mud. Yeah, diamond in the rough. Again, a lot of times it's it's covered with rock, silt, the mud. And then I like the don't need a gimmick to get out a buzz. Yep. I don't need to come up with some weirdly catchy thing in order for people to look at me with re respect and to make my name bigger. Yeah. Right. Even when you were diamond in the rough, made my own, got it out the mud, didn't need a gimmick to get out of buzz, didn't need the beef, got it out of love, the shoot my shot, got it out my sub. <laughs> mm. Now I want a beef sub. I'm really hungry. Didn't need the beef. Got it out of love. He said, I didn't need to get into a petty diss yeah, track feud or... with anyone. I did it because I showed love. Because for those of you that don't know, he shows script a lot work of is love. hug life. That's like yep. their hashtag. Hashtag hug life. They're all about showing love but to they, friends, they, they family. They show a lot of support. They're fans. Out there. Um, got it out of love to shoot my shot. Got it out my subs. Yep. Um, his subs being... Us fans, and fans, 
Yeah. So many. Anybody subscribes. Other them. people. But shoot your, shoot your shot out of your subs, being mm -hmm. submachine guns shooting your shots. Gun bars. And beef plays into the subs thing because yep. it's food. Food. It is fun. Didn't need a game to get out of buzz. Didn't need a beef. Got it out of love. Then shoot a shot. Got it out my subs. And no time to stop still. I like that. It's a double. Double. Got it out of love. Then shoot a shot. Got it out my subs. And no time to stop still. Try to stop and you gon' stop still. Oh, I like that on the phone. I don't got no time to stop still. He's like, I still don't have time to stop. I still got to keep moving. But he says, try to stop. You gon' stop still. Right. Try to stop me, and I will stop you with steel. Again, bullets. Gun don't, bars. Don't mess with them. They're they're nice people. They will hug life you to death. But you know, just don't mess with them. Right. shot, got it out my subs. Ain't no time to stop still. Try to stop and you gon' stop still. See the fake will never stop real. Me and not till it get your top pill. Mmm. See the fake will never stop real. Saying mm -hmm. the fake will never be able to stop the people that are out there that are being that real, are real and shooting themselves right and then he says me and Knox will get your top peeled again a reference to headshots right I feel like I'm missing something there like there's something in the stop reel part that I'm missing it's not gonna come the fake will never stop real could also be a double in terms of stopping the movie real. I, that's it's what I was thinking, but stop. I couldn't like make it progress further than that. Because they do... It's called a stop real. Right. But I couldn't make it progress further than, hey, I think I think that's but a movie the, film bar. at the same time, script work is a movie production thing oh, as well. Well, there you go. That's the part that I couldn't have added on. There you go. <laughs> Critic to critically explain me I'm critical when not critique so you could say that I'm dangerous. <laughs> okay. Critique bars right. saying nobody can really critique me I, when I'm harder on myself than right. probably you could ever be. It's that way for a lot of us. Critically explain me I'm critical when not critique so you could say that I'm dangerous. I put my heart in the nooses. I sit back and play hangman spit till I'm blue in the face. I guess you say that I'm hanging. <laughs> <laughs> I like that he one. He says, I put my heart in a noose right. as I sit back and play hangman. Um, Dangling my heart out here. Like he bears his heart and soul yeah. into the music that he's doing. Um, also referencing back to the very beginning where he's talking about bleeding on the track. Right. Um, but yeah. And then playing hangman is also a lyrical reference because you're guessing letters. Guessing letters. Yep. And every time you mess up, your person gets closer your and person closer. Gets closer and closer to death. And I think he's also referencing some of the troubles he's been in with some of the things he said lyrically. Right. And I'm pretty sure this was written before the whole. It, it was because um, it was Ahmad, due, um, like... Arbery line, but that's again in reference to. He right. does. He even knows he tends to get himself into trouble. Right. Or could. Has the credit code and not right. critique, so you could say that I'm dangerous. I put my heart in the nooses. I sit back and play hangman spit till I'm blue in the face. I guess you say that I'm hanging. And you turn blue and purple in your face when the oxygen's cut off when right. you're hanging. But spit till I'm blue in the face is also just a term for for overexerting. Talking to, uh, yeah, the whole nine yards. Like you can talk till you're blue in the face, which actually means normally that the person or people that you are talking to aren't listening. aren't listening and you just keep going and going and going and are getting nowhere right and of course when you're hanging you're not going anywhere right. but um yeah so again that's that's a metaphor for just going and going and going but that can also be a double as well um as like i'm just hanging out here here i am well i think that yeah the, that I'm hanging. Yeah. And also that he's like keeping his place, you know? Not just I'm chill, but like I'm hanging in here. Right. This for anybody who ain't have a fucking thing. This for anybody who ain't have a fucking dream. Um, 
I've had a fucking dream. I usually, it, it, when I was a teenager, woke up wet because of them. Mm hmm. I could see that. It's a wet dream. I think they probably got that. Yeah. I. <laughs> um. But yeah, anybody who ain't had a fucking thing. Yeah. Um. Well, and when you don't have a fucking thing, you really don't have the ability to fucking dream because you, you just don't have that. Like, you're just in survival mode. And this is also, I'm not saying it's referencing, but it reminds me of the Eminem verse from um, Sing for the Moment. Okay, I can see that. Yeah. Cause they're never sleeping Work until we all can see it Just keep reaching high like antennas yeah. Behind these bars I hold them hostage that <laughs> Um, cause they're never sleeping Going yeah, back to so the who ain't had a fucking dream Right Which means they're not sleeping Because they're working so yep. hard They don't have time to sleep They don't have time to dream um, And again You can be working towards your goal Or you can be working towards survival It, it can go either way Right we all can see it. Just keep reaching high like antennas behind these bars. And he says, just keep reaching high like antennas, because antennas... Reach towards the sky. Yeah. Um, but also reach high for your goals. Yep. Keep striving, keep working. Um, behind these bars, I hold them hostage. Again, bars referencing both, like, prison bars, but at the same time, bars as in the bars, rap bars. Rap bars, yeah. He's like, I hold them hostage with these bars. Yep. But then, reach high like antennas, I hold them hostage. Hostages are often, put your hands up, right. reach high. I hold them hostage, that's a prisoner's dilemma. And then prisoner's dilemma. Dilemma, dilemma being yeah. the artist, Marcus, who's on the track with right. Knox. But it's also a prisoner's dilemma, whether to put your hands up or be held hostage behind bars. Yeah. Uh. Script work. Hey, fuck apostrophes, man. <laughs> Never let them tell you what you can't. Tell them what you can. Dilemma. Yeah. I like how that ended. Me too. Although, I do <laughs> I really like that. That's a double. I mean, this whole thing was great, but just having a few ad libs in the back was... <laughs> <laughs> right. Is there anything else at the end? Because I know some people have been like, man, you guys need to watch all the way to the end. The and then we seconds. do, and nothing ever happens. You're right. <sighs> um, that was a really good one. A really long reaction. That was really I can good guarantee, though. how long has this been so far? Holy shit. 47 minutes. Well, I mean, they deserved it. Dilemma. You thought people couldn't catch a whole lot of them. I hope we uh, I, exceeded I hope we expectations. I proud, at least. Yeah. But I know we missed some things. And guarantee it. Well, especially the two references that I recall that, that we don't know, like the Florida right. Zevins and the acronym that Knox used. Right. But other than that, I, I hope we did you proud. Right. <clears throat> I love doing bar breakdowns like this sometimes. Yes. I actually, I love doing them. It's just sometimes I'm like, guys, I don't know. Right. We'll be up till <laughs> 8 o'clock editing the shit. All right. So with that being said, we're going to end it here. If you guys like the video, slash that like button, subscribe, and ring the bell for notifications. Comment down below. What did you think of Knox Hill and Dilemma with Triggered in the script Definitely work enjoyable. battle? Definitely enjoyable. That that was killer. Script work battle sessions. Yes. Um, also comment down below if there's anything else you guys want to see reacted to. Check the description below for all the things. I have to say, Knox definitely kept pace. Yes. I suspected that, that he was going to be close, but I have to say he was on even ground there. Like, that was impressive, both of you. Yeah, Very you much so. Loved it. Um, yeah, that's gonna do it. We love you guys. Thank you all for watching. We cannot wait to see you to praise people later. Peace. Night, y'all.